Hey guys, you're right, it's Mark. Um, I wanted to make a, a quick video today um, based on something that um, really confused me when I first started out and, and really <clears throat> when you, you strip it back it's, it's pretty um, straightforward and that is leverage. Um, so essentially leverage, I'm going to explain it um, in you know uh, the simplest way possible, um, it's essentially borrowing money to trade. Um, and you know, it's how much money you're borrowing to trade is what, is what the multiple is, right? So you can see for the most part, um, on eToro, I'll use my account for example, um, I don't use any leverage, any leverage whatsoever, which is times one. That's what n no leverage means, right? And on eToro, when you use times one, you're actually getting the real stock, not, not a CFD, but that's, that's a whole different thing. So we'll, we'll go into that some other time. Um, but. <clears throat> Excuse me, yeah. So when it's times one, you're not borrowing any money, it's your money multiplied by one, which equals your money, right? But if we wanted to, I've got a couple of positions, ironically, which are in the red um, that I've got leveraged. Um, let's use this Tesla one, for example. Where is it? Where is it? There it is, CFD. Um, so this one, I have leveraged by five, okay? <clears throat> so what that means is I have um, $130 invested on a leverage of five, so that's $130 times five. Does that make sense? So my total um, exposure is, I'm gonna embarrass myself, I need to get my phone to do 130 times five. Um, so my real position size is $650, even though I've only invested 130, if that makes sense, right? Because you take, obviously, what you've invested and you multiply it by the leverage. Now, pros and cons of this, pros, right, is, you can make a massive amount of money off of money that you don't really have. Um, so you can, obviously, your profits are going to be multiplied by five. So let's say, I don't know, I, I've got this position. Tesla went up 10%. Um, in essence, on my position of 130, I would be making 50% um, on, on that position. Um, but likewise, and as you can see here, um, if it was to go the other way, I lose as much money as if the position was much bigger. So I lose the money based on, on, on this example, um, over $600 or whatever that worked out to be, 690 I can't remember. <clears throat> um, but I would lose money based on that, not the 130 So I would lose five times more money. Um, I hope that makes sense and I haven't just, just rambled on. Um, so yeah, so it's typically, um, also what you need to worry about or think about as well, um, is when you're borrowing money um, from eToro, they are um, charging you a fee. I believe it's at kind of what the standard uh, base rate is at the time. Um, so you can see the total fees on this position is $5. So not only am I down $40, um, I'm also down an additional $5 that I've paid in fees to, to borrow that money. <clears throat> right. Um, on the flip side, if there's a dividend paid out, um, which is where a company pays you stock, and you're leveraged in a position in uh, eToro, um, you actually get that money as well. Let's see if I can find an example of a dividend on a leveraged stock. No, I think I've closed all of them. But you can see the fees that I'm paying on the leverages. Um, and then, as I say, once you when you get paid dividends, it's multiplied by the five. Um, it's typically used in Forex. So if we just, I don't know, let's have a look at GBP USD. Um, oh, in fact, let me do this. So we'll look at the Forex um, uh, leverages quick, which are a lot more extreme, right? So you can see you can up to 400, which, you know, you have to be a pro trader, but up to 400, which basically means if I was to invest um, uh, I don't know, let's have a look, $50, um, and I did it at times 400, it would, my position size, right, the money that I would be risking would be um, 50 times 400, right, which obviously means I have a massive potential to make money, also means that the smallest drop um, in, the, in the trade, I would lose a massive amount of money. Also, um, with leverage, you have the potential to lose more than the money that you invest, right? You can lose more than 100% 100, uh, 100 of your position. So um, with, you know, your times one stock leverage, or, or it doesn't have to be a stock time, your times one, um, I have, uh, let's have a look, what do I have invested? Let's just use one trade. So I have $50 invested. I can only lose $50 on that position because I haven't borrowed anyone's money. That's my money. And if it, if the stock literally went to zero, 
I would lose fifty dollars, and obviously Facebook isn't going to go to zero. But just for for the sake of uh, example, um, if it went to zero, I would lose fifty dollars. However, if that was leveraged, right? So if this was leveraged by five, um, oh, we're getting into maths now. If it, if it was leveraged by five or ten, let's say, well, let's let's say ten because it'd be easy. If it was leveraged by ten, um, and then Facebook stock fell by ten percent right rather than being down 10 percent, i would be down a hundred percent and then i can add funds to hold that position and then obviously then i'm losing more money than my initial position if that makes sense um so basically moral of the story i thought i'd explain leverage leverage is um i think one of the reasons why people start off losing um, because it's, it's it's so finely balanced it's almost like i don't know it's it's just uh, you you've got to tie the time. It's more about timing when you're using leverage, and the position's got to be just right. Um, you can see for the most part uh, on my recent trades. Uh, let's have a look at my recent. Um, it's all one percent or um, times one, and that's just where I'm most comfortable. And you don't have these massive swings like up ten percent, down ten percent, up twenty percent, down fifty percent. Um, and so if you're just starting out, and I've I've done a video. I'm about using 2% of your account. So if you're just starting out, if you use 2% of your account and times one uh, leverage on each trade, um, it's going to be you know a lot safer for you. You're going to lose a lot less money. Um, and ultimately, it's going to be more fun. You might make less money, but it's about being consistent. As you're consistent over time, you're growing your account. And you've got 10,000, you're making 2% on, uh, on a position or whatever. Um, and then you, you scale it and you scale it and you scale it. And then you've got 100 grand and then, you're, and then it's worth it. But anyway. Um, yeah, so I hope that was helpful. I hope that explained it a little bit. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like it. If you have any uh, questions at all, whack them in the comments, whether it be eToro or YouTube, you know. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you probably tomorrow.